Hello, my name's Gavin Williamson. I'm the Secretary of State for Education. This is my first Facebook Live and then the department's first Facebook Live as well. And we'd asked a lot of you to contribute questions that uh, uh, I will do my very best to answer as many as we can. Um, just last week, with the Prime Minister, I was very privileged to be able to announce that we are investing an extra £18.9 billion into our education system over a three-year period. Four and a half billion pounds of that is to make sure that we cover the cost of extra pensions, but the rest of it is all aimed at delivering better education for all children in this country. So if I dive into the questions, the first one is from Jamie, who asks the question of how will you ensure that teacher pay is fully supported to match the recommendations by the independent pay review body. Well, in most schools, most schools spend about 50% of their budget directly on teacher pay. That's why it was so important from my point of view to ensure that we're able to secure the maximum amount of money for all schools so that they were able to deliver a pay award for teachers. All evidence points to the simple fact that the biggest impact that we can have on children's education is the teacher in that classroom. So getting the very best teachers, encouraging uh, people to stay within the teaching profession and inspire a new generation of the most brilliant to come and work in the classroom is so very important. I'll be writing to the independent pay review body to explain to them about our aims and aspirations uh, for teachers' pay and also explaining the fact that there is money to support uh, those increased levels of pay, bringing the starting salary of uh, uh, newly qualified teachers up to uh, £30,000, which I think sends an important message about how we value the teaching profession. The next question we have is sat from Sally and it's asking the question as to whether the £700 million funding for special educational needs will be ring-fenced. Uh, the £700 million is uh, being given to schools, to local authorities, to directly help those children who need it most. And I expect every local authority to passport that money straight through to schools. It's vitally important that they do this. Uh, these are some of the children with the highest needs. It's something that when I've been visiting schools, when I've been speaking to teaching unions, that they've been highlighting as an absolute priority for them. And I very much hope this £700 million will have an enormous impact on children's lives. But I do expect it to go through to all schools. Uh, David raises the issue saying, whilst the news that there will be a significant funding increase is fantastic, the first instalment is still a year away. Uh, will there be further funding this academic year? Uh, this spending review was all designed for uh, the years 2020-2021. We were the only department across government that was able to get a multi-year settlement covering three years. And this will be, uh, be made available from April next year uh, and cover the full three-year period. Uh, Joe uh, raises the extra money as to where the extra money is coming from. And quite simply, the extra money is coming from the Treasury. Uh, the Chancellor agreed this extra funding. It's not been taken from our budgets. It's been coming directly from Her Majesty's Treasury and uh, will have an immediate impact. Uh, Jane raises the issue of how will the additional funding be distributed to schools? Will all schools receive additional funding? Every single school in this country will be receiving an increase in the money it gets in line with inflation. Those schools that have historically been uh, funded at a lower level um, will be seeing uh, their, the amount of money that they receive per pupil being lifted up. So the next financial year will ensure that every secondary school will get a minimum of £5,000 a year per pupil funding and every primary school will be getting a minimum of £3,750 per pupil funding and that will be increasing to £4,000 uh, per pupil the following year. 
uh, Helen raises uh, the uh, issue of uh, we rely on teachers from the European Union and teacher recruitment retention is at breaking point. How do you plan to mitigate for Brexit? In so many schools right across the country, we see teachers um, from many different nations right, from the, right across the European Union who play an important role in delivering education for children in this country. And the government has continuously made it clear that they are, their rights are going to be protected. We want them to stay in this country and we are going to be ensuring uh, that uh, it is absolutely easy and simple for them to stay on this in this country and continue to contribute to our schools as they have been doing. Uh, the issue of teacher retention and recruitment is incredibly important and we've been working with the trade unions and right across the sector to make sure that we have the proper and right recruitment and retention strategy to ensure that um, teachers uh, both in primary, secondary uh, education have the incentive to stay on in this profession but we do want those from other European countries that have made Britain their home to feel as if uh, they want to continue to work in our schools. Uh, Cathy raises the issue of are we going to announce any funding for the early year sector? The simple answer to that is yes. Um, we announced an extra £66 million for the early year sector. That was announced in the spending review uh, just yesterday. And uh, finally, uh, Daniel uh, asks the question, will this funding be applied at the beginning of the new financial years? Funding mid-year makes forecasting difficult. Uh, a lot of this depends on the type of school uh, that you're working in, Daniel. Um, if it is an academy, academies will receive the uh, extra funding from September of next year. If it's a local authority funded school, uh, it will be from April of next year. Uh, what is critical is that this funding is over a three year period. This gives the opportunity for the head teachers to be able to plan and to properly able to forecast as to what they want to be doing in their schools. And that's why it's been so critical be able to secure it over that three-year period. Uh, finally, I'd just like to thank you for taking the time to watch, taking the time to listen, but most importantly, taking the time to contribute your questions. Thank you.